Well, it's something we haven't seen since Adley got called up to the major leagues. The Orioles on the brink of getting swept. That's, that's a worst case scenario heading into game three against the Rangers tomorrow night. It's one that the team isn't even thinking about. WMAR2 News Sean Stepner is on the road for us tonight. He's in Texas with the birds. We are in Arlington, Texas at Globe Life Field. Is this where the Orioles dream season continues? Or is this where it ends? The ALDS shifting to game three here tomorrow night. The Orioles on the field this evening for their off day workouts. The birds now with their backs against the wall down 0-2 in this best of five series, but you wouldn't know it according to manager Brandon Hyde. He says the clubhouse, like usual, like all season, is loose. Same as it was before the first two games of this playoff series. Players say the same. Everybody's feeling good, just recovering today, you know, doing all the treatment, everything we need to do on our bodies to make sure we're ready to go for these next three games. These next three games, you said. Um, that has to be the mindset right now for you guys, right? Yeah, absolutely. Our backs are against the wall. We know we got to win three in a row to move on, so we'll be ready to go tomorrow. We know our backs against the wall. Um, you know, we know where we're at in the season, and, and um, you know, personally, I, I'm not ready to be done playing with these guys. Um, I think we got a lot left to give, and um, you know, hopefully, we can. Uh, you know, win the next three, but starts with one at a time. Well, the big news tonight, Hyde announcing that Dean Kramer will get the start tomorrow. Really a breakout year for Kramer, and he has come through in big games late in this regular season. He started both clinchers in September when the Birds clinched a postseason spot and when they clinched the AL East championship. But there is more on his mind than baseball. Kramer holds dual citizenship with the U.S. and Israel. He has family that lives in Israel. And the war that nation now fights is ever present in his thoughts. Kramer was asked if there was a hesitation to pitch tomorrow with everything going on in the Middle East. My family's okay. Um, um, they're, I mean, obviously it's, it's a very sad situation. Um, I, a lot of things are, are being brought to light, um, but uh, everybody's okay right now. Is there a hesitation? No, I, 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 st I still want to pitch, but I mean, it, it's going to be in the back of my head. He seemed okay. He seemed um, like he was ready to pitch. He seemed like um, he felt comfortable with where his family situation was at with the whole thing. Obviously, he's very disturbed and you know, there's a lot of things going on. But I didn't, I didn't sense that it was going to affect. Um, I think he's really looking forward to pitching tomorrow. So I didn't think it was going to affect him. And Orioles fans certainly looking forward to seeing him perform in just over 24 hours. In Arlington, Texas, Sean Stepner, WMAR2 News.